This video is a continuation of this example number two from section 3.7. We were given this implicit function and we just found the equation of the tangent line to that function at the point three comma two. Okay, we had to do an implicit derivative. We got a, an implicit result for that derivative. And then to find the slope, we plugged in the values from our point and found the slope of the tangent line and then the tangent line itself. Okay, now in part B here, uh, we have a little bit of new terminology, new word here. We get this thing called the normal or a normal line. Sometimes it's also referred to as. Um, so this is the normal. This is the line perpendicular to the tangent at a given point. Find the normal to x squared plus xy minus y cubed equals 7 at the point 3 comma 2. Now, the nice thing with this particular problem is that we aren't actually going to have to do any calculus for finding this normal line right now because we just found the tangent line, okay? Because the normal is the line perpendicular to the tangent and it's at the same point. So our given point here is still three comma two. So we're just going to work off of that idea of a perpendicular slope here, since we already found the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so our tangent slope was eight ninths. And so that means that our normal slope here is perpendicular to that. And if you'll recall from back in the day, perpendicular lines, their slopes are negative reciprocals. So we flip this over and stick a negative on it. Negative nine over eight. And there's our normal slope. And we're still at the point three comma two, so we just are going to make the equation of a different line here. Y equals mx plus b, but now our slope m is negative nine eighths. And we're still going to plug in the same point values. Two equals negative nine eighths times three plus b. Okay. And so two equals, what would that be? Negative 27 over eight plus b. And we'd need to add that to both sides. Okay, so two here, that is 16 over eight, and we're adding 27 over eight. So that's gonna be 43 over eight for our b value. Not very pretty, but this happens. So our normal line is y equals negative 9 eighths x plus 43 eighths. And there we go. So no calculus required on this one. But if you had not just found the tangent line at that point, you would have to go through the process here of taking the implicit derivative and then plugging in your point to actually find that tangent slope. So that part we had already done. That's what made part B here so nice. All right, so there it is, that's a normal.